Hey everyone, how you doing? One of my other shirts that I designed, um, you can see it, women pastors are not real pastors. 1 Timothy 2.12. did a video on that too, so I won't even get into that. But um, very sad. Um, we should be praying for um, Canada. Um, uh, the totalitarian Marxist Nazi liberals, um, they passed the uh, C4 bill in Canada, so people can actually go to jail for years for um, speaking against um, homosexuality. Um, it, it, conversation therapy, um, uh, repress or reduce non-heterosexual attraction or sexual uh, behavior. I mean, it's just, it's a mess. And um, <clears throat> the Canadian government uh, making statements like um, uh, the Bible is myth and uh, so on, um, imposing this on their people um, makes you think of Isaiah 520, um, under the judgment of God, calling people going good, evil, and evil, good. Um, it's funny, you know, calling the Bible myth, I mean, you know, it's funny how um, there's been many times where liberal scholarship has attacked the Bible, and over and over and over they were proven wrong through um, archaeological discovery. Um, it's amazing that we can see how complex uh, DNA is and, and the irreducible complexity and so on. We can see that through science, but um, people will still think that um, there was no intelligence involved in the creation of any of that because, I mean, you know, there are brilliant scientists on both sides. Both have the same evidences, but both interpret the evidences in light of their presuppositions. And yes, atheists, um, non-believers have presuppositions too. And um, th th this is really, really sad um, for Canadians. Um, they can't say things like, for instance, that Leviticus 18.22, God calls homosexuality an abomination. Or in Genesis 19, God roasted to death people who are homosexuals. Um, Matthew 19.4-6 Jesus said that, you know, real marriage is um, one man, one woman. Um, the word arsenokoites in uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10, um, it's being specific uh, about the, the uh, giver and taker in the homosexual relationship. It's very clear in the Greek language. Um, Romans 1, obviously, uh, is very clear that homosexuality is sin. It's sin that leads people to hell. Um, and and it's, it's really sad that uh, the Canadian government has been um, <clears throat> delivered over and um, this is going to be uh, horrible persecution on Canadian Christians. But there's some things that we have to remember. Um, we look at uh, Psalm 2, um, where it says, Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? Uh, the kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, and against his anointed. And then you go to verse 4 to 5, where it talks about God. It says, He who sits in the heavens, he laughs. The Lord shall hold them in derision. God laughs at them. Um, we also see that in a uh, psalm.
Psalm 37. Um, <clears throat> Psalm 37, verses 12 to 13. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. Um, nothing happens without God decreeing it, predetermining it for his purpose and his glory. Uh, nothing happens outside of his, um, uh, his decree. So we need to realize that. And, you know, there's people who feel so much frustration and, uh, but you have to, we have to remember that God has everything completely under his control. And I love how Acts 13 tells us that Psalm 2 is about Jesus. Um, Psalm 2, 11 to 12, verses 11 to 12 says, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are those who put their trust in him. Kiss the sun. It's an expression of worship, an ancient expression of worship. Um, um, the nations that rage, unfortunately, um, the Canadian government um, falls under this condemnation. America is very, very close behind. I mean, with the Equality Act really close behind. And so we need to um, pray for our Canadian brothers and sisters because when we see things like this, when we see um, what the Bible uh, says, like in, for instance, in Romans 1, 18 to 32, it gives us a picture of a nation that is under the judgment of God. And when a nation is under the judgment of God, what happens? Um, homosexuality becomes a thing, a big thing. Um, the People um, get judged in this life, not just hell afterwards, but there are people in this life who get delivered over, delivered over. Because they love their sins. And Romans 1.18, The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. And if you jump down to uh, verse 24, <clears throat> Therefore God gave them up to uncleanness and the lusts of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Um, verse 26, for this reason, God gave them up to vile passions for even their women exchanged a natural use for what is against nature, meaning that homosexuality is against, against nature. Um, <clears throat> verse 27, likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women, of the woman burn in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error, which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting 
being filled with unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil, mindlessness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, uh, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, uh, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also give hearty approval of those who practice them. And as we see, there's, there's people who are straight, who are pro-homosexual, who give hearty approval. Um, we see what's going on with um, the LGBTQ indoctrination on young people all over the place. You get it on the media, you get it on the secular schools, and uh, you get it at libraries with transgender story time and that sort of thing. So it's being really shoved down everyone's throat because they're trying to normalize it. And just look at Romans 1, you know, Isaiah 5.20. Um, it's a nation under the judgment of God. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes God uses very evil nations to bring punishment to another nation that's under his judgment. And so we should pray for the Canadian people, uh, pray for the Canadian government, because this is absolutely horrific that our Christian brothers and sisters in other countries um, will have to possibly, uh, well, they, they will face years of jail time for speaking against homosexuality, for saying that it's actually sin. I mean how far we've come. Um, repress or reduce a person's gender expression that does not conform to the sex assigned to the person at birth. Repress or reduce a person's gender that does not conform to the sex assigned to the person at birth. Um, we know elsewhere in the scriptures that God uh, delivers people over to a strong delusion. I, I mean, if this isn't a st strong delusion, then nothing is. I mean, what people are born with, what actually science says, and we see um, laws like this that are being made in, we're in the year 2022, and this is where we're at. Christians being persecuted by the government because we want to call boys, boys and girls, girls and know the difference between that. So yeah, we, um, this, like I said, the America, United States, we are really not that far behind. Um, and we need to tell people we have to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, that he is the only way to be saved from the wrath of God. He took the sins of his people on the cross. If we believe, confess with our mouth, believe in our hearts, it's a faith alone relationship. Jesus said, you are my friends if you do what I command you in John 15, 14. We need to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. Jesus said that hell is a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth where the worm never dies, where the fire is never quenched. Jesus said it's eternal punishment and outer darkness. Book of Revelation says the smoke of their torment goes up forever, and they have no rest day and night. We need to let people know that that's the gospel. That's the message that Christians are commanded to preach.